Hi there, Danny. Oh. How oh. are you? This is Stephanie from Dr. Berg Nutritionals. Welcome back, everyone. We're here with another show, Q&A. Check with your doctor before implementing any of the things we're about to tell you. On that note, uh, let's just dive right in. Uh, I know he's busy. He's probably got the paddle all ready for the day. No, I don't have him. Anyway, Danny, I am going to try it right now. Let's see if you would unmute yourself. Go ahead, Danny. First off, Dr. Berg, I've been watching your show for a while. I'm one of the biggest fans, and you changed my life. This is one of the best days of my life. I can't believe that I'm on the show with you, but... I got a, a chubby right now because this is one of the most awesome experiences of my life because I'm getting a driver right now. I appreciate everything you're doing for the world with your, your podcast. And I am a uh, part owner of the Asher Institute of Hampton, number one hair school in Virginia. Before I became a business owner, I was a professional athlete. And a hard thing for professional athletes is to make the transition. We, we consume a lot of calories. Um, we have an extreme, uh, intense workout regimen. Once you retire, and I retired in 2015, it's, it's been pretty difficult. Being an athlete, I'm... Um... What happened is you developed very large mitochondria. You have a huge energy uh, source now. And then when people are athletes and then they and they don't operate at that level, they have a lot of extra energy that they need to sometimes use or else they have sleeping problems down the road. So you have to maintain some type of exercise to kind of drain out some of that energy that you built up because your body is at a certain capacity. When I saw you on social media, uh, I decided to try a fast, and I tried it for five days straight successfully. Um, and I took some vitamins and minerals along with that. Like I said, athletes are extreme. So I never did a fast before, and I just go to five days cold turkey, which is amazing. Um, and, I, and I got through it. Um, I was extremely um, energetic. I got so much work done. I even exercised three days during that fast. But after the fast, maybe three weeks, because I was taking some supplements, um, uh, I, I developed the kidney stone, and it was extremely painful. Um, it was a calcium buildup in my in my kidney, so that I, I flushed it out with a bunch of water. You know, one of the 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 most common type of kidney stone is called a calcium oxalate stone, and so um, there's a couple factors that make up the stone. Uh, one is uh, the consumption of food that has a lot of oxalates in it. So you want to avoid those foods, and unfortunately. Uh, it's in like almonds. It's very high in almonds and almond flour, and that's a lot of keto products. It's also high in spinach. <laughs> it's everyone's like pushing spinach on you. Um, <clears throat> it's also high in um, um, chocolate, and even if uh, sugar-free chocolate, uh, it's in high in kiwis. So <clears throat> that's one thing: avoiding those foods. But the other thing too is that it's impossible to get a kidney stone unless there's a super concentrated urine in, in your um, bladder or your kidneys. So one solution is to make sure you have at least two and a half liters of fluid a day. Um, I do not think it's even possible to get a kidney stone if you have that much fluid in your body. It's not that much, but just make sure you drink more. Um, if you add the lemon water in there, that lemon has citrates and the citrates combine and block those that kidney stone from forming. So you, you put in like a good, you know, you could do a, the juice of one lemon or a couple tablespoons of lemon. Just put that in your water several times a day. Drink enough water. That right there should handle um, your potential for getting kidney stone. Now, let's say, for example, you were at a restaurant and you had some spinach, some steamed spinach. If you have some cheese with that or dairy, that calcium will block block the oxalates. So that's one thing to protect you. How does a, a professional athlete make the transition to a, a, a fasting lifestyle and a keto friendly lifestyle safely? Doing the fasting um, and the keto lifestyle with exercise going forward is going to be the best thing. If you also do, uh, if you add in that, the next thing, which I just did is the cold immersion therapy. Now you're taking it to the next level. So uh, anyway, that was my long version of how to prevent kidney stones on keto. Well, that's great. Thank you, Danny. I'm glad we got a clean shot out of your internet. And 
Thank you so much, Danny, and uh, best luck in your, your school there. And With Danny, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate you, and you have a wonderful day, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.